hi 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 hello friends welcome to my youtube channel now this is the last session for technical maha transco and student electrical solutions 2000 now the question here is in order to generate the square wave from a sinusoidal input the signal is one signal one can use the schema trigger if you give the uh, sinusoidal input to it it will generate the square wave and similarly monosable material will also generate the square wave so 2 and 3 are the right options here so 2 and 3 only the right option next question corona in DC supply is so corona losses is proportional to frequency so corona losses PC is proportional to F plus 25 so if the frequency in DC is 0 so for DC frequencies, this term is zero, but we have some losses. So corona losses is less in case of less in DC compared to AC. So less than AC. That's the answer. Next one. So here we have a question. The 50 ohm distortionless transmission line has inductance per meter is 0.25 micro Henry. What is the capacitance? So Z is equal to square root of L by C. So from this we can say z square is equal to l by c I want capacitance so c is equal to l by z square so l is 0 0.25 into 10 power minus 6 henry divided by uh, 50 z square and 50 into 50 that is 250 so if we solve this we will get 10 power minus 10 faraday per meter as the answer so this is the answer here next question the base impedance for the 10 kV and 10 MVA three phase system is so base impedance so ZB is equal to we can write so VP square divided by SP so what is the base square so 10 K whole square divided by 10 MVA that is 100 into 10 power 6 divided by 10 into 10 power 6 so 6 cancel so 10 so 10 ohms is the answer next question that we have here is so this question is based on balancing of bridges so here 2 into 3 is 6 3 into 2 is 6 so this no current flows through this uh, 2 ohms register so 3 into 6 18 6 into 3 is 18 so the here also no current flows so if you draw the equivalent circuit of this uh, network so plus or minus 6 volts here so here I have resistance of 6 ohms 6 ohms connected in parallel series sorry series and here I have 3 and 3 3 3 here and here I have 2 and 2 so 2 2 so if I equivalent this circuit here you need to find I value so this is so plus or minus 6 volts we can write it as 12 6 4 if you parallel combine this we will get it as equivalent as a 4 so 4 ohms so 4 in parallel 4 in 4 in parallel means 2 so plus or minus 6 volts total resistance is 2 ohms and 6 volts here what about the current i is nothing but v by r so i is equal to 6 by 2 3 amps is the correct answer so 3 amps is the answer here the next question <coughs> an ammeter has a current of point 0 to 5 amps so 0 to 5 amps and internal resistance is 0 0.4 ohms that is rm is given rm is 0 how much is 0 0.4 and we need to find r shunt in ammeter under m is maximum reading divided by meter reading so this is 50 0 to 5 means 50 amps and this one is 5 actual reading so how much it is 10 so the formula for SH is RSH is equal to RM divided by M minus 1 so RM is how much it is 0 0.4 divided by M minus 1 means approximately 10 we can take so 0 0.04 ohms in parallel here so this is the ammeter we are applying shunt here like this so shunt is in parallel so 0 0.04 ohms in parallel with the ammeter is the right answer the next question so I can't get the question clearly here but the answer for this one is hysteresis losses ok and the next question the next question is what is the size of the memory for arrangement of 8 memory chips so here we have 8 memory chips of 32 into 4 bit size having a their address buses connected together so it requires 32 into 32 system okay so this is a memory size here for the 
this question. So we'll move to the next question. So next question is dash is the maximum reverse voltage that a thyristor can withstand withstand and it's equal to peak negative value of its sine wave. So if you go for the characteristics of peak reverse voltage, so it will be like this. Spikes will come here. So like this. What is voltage is nothing but it's a peak reverse working voltage. So the answer is for this one is peak reverse working voltage is a maximum reverse voltage that a thyristor can withstand repeatedly and it's equal to the peak negative value of the sine wave voltage here. So this is a peak reverse voltage without uh, getting the thyristor is damaged. So next question, the riding resistors and bulkers related together used for the protection of transformers. So transformers we see bulkers relay. So thank you friends. Uh, friends, the whatever the information that I got, so based on that I am making these videos. If you find any difficulty, uh, sorry for that. But if you have any information regarding this exams, so please go through, I mean please send it to my mail so that I can make more effective videos in future. Thank you. Have a nice day. If you like my videos, please subscribe and comment and like.